this episode of a mobile home makeover, I finished the sink reinstallation by fixing a drain with a dishwasher inlet and uh, also some other putting together the final pieces of under the sink. Yesterday on my third trip to the hardware store, I talked to the guy who is becoming my new favorite helper there. He seems to be a bit of a MacGyver. Last week he gave me some good advice about how to uh, loosen up a screw that was broken. Unfortunately, I didn't follow his advice through by heating up the parts and, uh, and broke the top and the screw off. This week, um, <clears throat> I've got the challenge of turning this piece into this piece. And from here they look uh, like, oh, that should be no problem. But this is actually quite a bit bigger than this one. And I only have a limited amount of space to fit it into, so that's going to be an issue. Plus, this one has to go in here in order to get the right fit. So, my man at the hardware store suggested using this, a hacksaw, and this, some glue, to cut this piece off right here in order to make it match this. And then also... Also cut this piece off so that it slips in right here where it's necessary. That's where the glue is going to come in hand. <laughs> so I'm going to start by marking this piece and this piece where I think it should be cut. So I've got this piece marked with the blue tape where I think I should cut it off and I'm going to wait to cut this piece until I've got this one done and I can get a good feel. And this piece is a bit of a slider, so it's um, got some adjustability to it. So here's my new piece, and I'm going to need to cut this to slide it down into there. And I think I'm just going to cut, uh, cut it you know, as close to that as possible, because I don't need a lot of sliding room here because all of this is slider. And you can see from here, this is how much this pipe down here. So I've got a lot of flexibility down at the bottom, or more flexibility. So I think I'm just going to cut this one short. Well, I'm feeling all proud of myself for getting it this far when I remember that this piece needs to fit in here somehow, too. Ah. Uh... Fortunately, I think I need to cut this piece longer. And have and this piece shorter, believe it or not. So I think I need to go get another piece. Ay ay ay. You know, have an okay mechanical mind. This is the first time I've done any of this, and really anything you're doing require some trial and error unless you get a really good lesson in how to do it and then you're they've probably had trial and error so heading back to the hardware store it's like groundhog day radio station. I've got to cut this piece shorter and this piece longer. This cut came out a little bit uneven and I really need it to be a nice fit so I'm going to use the orbital sander to just smooth it out a little bit. It's not looking too bad, but I don't have like a lot of room for error in here. But I think I'm still going to cut this guy here and try test fitting it in. Certainly I'm not going to glue these pieces together quite yet. Well, here to my best ability after four trips to the hardware store and 
definitely some failed attempts is uh is that new fitting. It's just fucking easier that way. And there's my new piece. Yeah, let's see whether it works now. You can just kind of see the white white pipe through here, but I think there's a rubber gasket in there as well that's gonna be kind of playing in this game. Moment of truth, take two. Hell yeah. Now I'm gonna put some glue right here just to make 100% sure the little victory is so I mixed up some of this uh, plastic epoxy and uh, put it on here best of my ability I think uh, I'm gonna call that a completed sink installation Put a little caulking over here this morning and just around the edge in general. It's another Sunday at the in laws. <laughs> I came by to borrow a screwdriver, but they got some other tools at work. Here's Kim getting rid of the old kettle loading ramp. All right, with the sink up and going again, I'm switching over to uh, fixing this area over here where we're missing a wheel. <clears throat> I'm gonna do that by removing this wheel and then tacking this place in front to replace both the wheels. I'm getting at this wheel right here. about 90 psi so there is that tacked in place okay we're gonna do some green construction here I'm looking around and wondering how I can patch there's supposed to be a shelf right there what can I do to cover this and I'm thinking yeah I'll just I have a few extra doors around I'll just cut them down the shape marked out on here at which point I discover that the doors are in fact hollow. Hmm. So what I'm going to do is find another piece of slip in here to reinforce this crossbeam. Now I bring them in and see how they fit. I know I'm going to have to cut around all these pipes. fitting them in I'm just gonna uh, do them one at a time and cut it cut what I need to making progress 
And here's my after. I think uh, I'm going to tack it down with a couple brad nails just around the edges. And um, eventually it might get uh, papered over with contact paper. So I reinforced all these back corners with inner pieces. And then reinforce this joint too with the inner pieces. Now I'm going to staple just here where there's thick wood into where there's wood down below. With that done, I can, and this drawer thing fixed, I can see how the drawers fit. The little edge looks okay and this drawer is moving just fine. Now it's time to put the doors on. Suddenly the kitchen's looking a lot more put together again. Tune in next time, I'm going to be, uh, I think, doing a little bit more painting and a little bit more, uh, maybe replace a bathroom fan. And then I've got to go under the house because I dropped a credit card through the porch floor.